Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the five best flip front helmets according to our customers. I find that people who buy flip front helmets tend to be really, really dedicated riders and probably the sort of people who think really hard before they splash out on a new lid. There's quite a lot to think about with a flip front anyway. How well does the chin bar flipping bit work? What's the sun visor like? Can you legally ride with it flipped up? And how easy is it to fit an intercom? We'll try and cover all of that and a little bit more in this video about the top five flips on the market at the moment. This isn't just based on my opinion, thankfully, it's mostly about what's done best in the reviews left by Sports Bike Shop customers with a little bit of my own experience thrown in. Keep an eye on the top right of the screen and whenever we've published a more detailed review of any of the helmets in this list, you'll see a link through to that detailed review video and it'll pop up on the screen. Or there's a list of links in the product description below. Shoei's first Neotech flip was really popular, but this sequel has addressed some of the criticisms that that original did attract. The interior on this one is comfier, wind noise is reduced, and the sun visor is more effective. It's been more popular with customers as well. As we record this, 94% of the 234 reviewers gave this helmet five stars out of five. The main repeat niggle from those people who didn't give five stars is about noise, which is always a subjective one. And there are also a couple of people saying the gap between the lid and the visor is too big when you lift it to the first stage, just there. The final common complaint is that it's expensive. Yes, compared to many other helmets, this is quite expensive, but most people who've bought one feel it was worth the outlay. The other issue that crops up is that it's hard to fit an intercom to this lid unless you buy the dedicated showy system that fits on the side in place of that panel there. This helmet's dual homologated for use as full face or open face and a size medium weighed in at 1,718 grams on our scales. This helmet scored four stars out of five in the UK government's sharp impact tests as well. If you're coming from sportier lids to a flip front, then this HJC Alpha 90S is a good option. The weight is good. It's 1,585 grams for this size medium on our scales, and it's also quite a compact helmet. The main visor has a sporty change system and it's protected by a top grade Pinlock 120 insert. The sun visor operates on the left rim just here and that's got an anti-mist coating on it on that sun visor as well. Ventilation has three stages, chin, up top and then there's a switchable exhaust on the back. The interior is more touring than sport, it's covered by a brush fabric and it's very comfortable but I'd say it's more suited to distance riding rather than short intense rides. The interior has been set up to provide a quiet ride and many customer reviewers praise this helmet for the noise levels. The sportiness doesn't extend to the strap fastener which is a micrometric buckle just like virtually every other flip front helmet ever. It's set up for HJC's smart intercoms, but there's nothing to stop a universal system going on this helmet if you prefer that. It's dual homologated, so it's legal to ride with it flipped up, and there's also a carbon shell version if you're happy giving up another 80 quid or so for a weight saving and a slightly flashier appearance. Schubert's C3 Pro has always been the helmet for people who want a quiet ride. That's not a given in every situation as so many factors generate noise, not just the way the lid cuts through the air, but customer reviewers for this helmet are very positive about how quiet the ride is. It's also the lightest flip front helmet we sell and we sell most flip front helmets. This size medium weighs in on our scales at 1509 grams. It has a fiberglass shell, the visor's pinlock protected and there's a sun visor that operates on the left rim just here. Vents at the chin and on top are decent, although the lack of a proper exhaust vent does hinder the airflow a bit. The lining is a brushed material and it's designed to closely fit you to reduce noise. You also get Schubert's anti-roll-off system. That's two extra securing straps that make it more likely to stay on your head if the worst happens. The C3 Pro is single homologated, so it's only legal to wear this helmet with the chin bar closed and it scored three stars out of five in the UK government's sharp impact tests. There's a dedicated comms unit for this helmet, but quite a few people have managed to fit universal setups without loads and loads of hassle. Kberg's Horus isn't made by one of the big flashy helmet brands, but owners rate this helmet very highly and it makes our top five for that reason. The Horus excels particularly in the field of vision it offers with the pinlock protective visor, giving both deep and wide peripheral vision. Much of that comes thanks to this unconventional scoop that's been kind of cut out in front of the mouth, which brings across some elements from an open face helmet. This scoop here also allows the chin bar to stay closer to the lid when it's lifted. So something like that is good for making a compact lid, but it's not so good for some people who feel that the chin bar stays a bit too close to their own chin when the helmet's in the closed position. 
The internal sun visor also attracts the odd criticism for being too close to the nose when it's lowered. If you prefer a bit more room inside your lid, then this one may not be the helmet for you. One of the other big plus points mentioned amongst the customer reviewers for this lid is that you can easily fit whatever intercom you want rather than having to buy a dedicated one by Kberg. This helmet's dual homologated for use with the gym bar up or down, and there's a switch on the side to really easily lock it up, which isn't always the case with flip front helmets. The Shubath C5 is a brand new lid for 2022, and it's the first flip front that meets the new ECE 2206 safety approval. We've had one of these out on the road for more than 600 miles now, and I've found it to be a very impressive lid. The venting through the chin, and especially this one on top, is excellent. And it's also now dual homologated, so it can be legally worn with the chin bar locked up. And there's also a fancy new visor memory function. So now, if you lift the chin bar when the visor is partially open, the visor will remain in that same place when you close the chin bar back down. The liner inside this helmet is made up of seven parts, not just the normal three, so you can now have a more customised fit than on any other helmet, as long as you're happy to buy some optional replacement parts for inside there. There's a sun visor that runs on this switch off the side, and it's all rigged out for Schubert's comm system, though it will take some effort to fit anything other than that dedicated Schubert system. For year-round riders who are out in all weathers, we had a concern with the visor on the C5, and there's more detail on that in our full review video. But that issue aside, this is a very good new helmet from Shubath. Right, so that's our current take on the top five flip-up helmets on the market at the moment. If you want more information on any of them, you can either watch our full review videos where we've made them by following the links in the description below, or you can also see in there links to the product listings on the Sports Bike Shop site. If you've got any feedback on the five helmets we've chosen here or you have anything you'd like to ask then please pop a comment below thanks for watching